Hello, it's been a little while since I've done the vlog, but I'm back today with another FA Varg game. Buckland versus Laverstock and Ford. And I've heard Laverstock are bringing a, a few fans, so it should be an exciting game. I am sorry that I couldn't make it to the Bobby game today. I'm not going to go to Hartbury uh, University versus Bobby Tracy FC, but I'm going to Torquay later and I won't get back in time for that one. So, best of luck to Bobby. I'm sure you'll smash it and straight into that next round. And I think I think Bobby will win that one. I'm going to predict that one as well. I think it'll be Bobby 2, Harper United 0. But we're on about Laverstock today. And Laverstock and Ford uh, from Salisbury. So a couple hour journey for them. So they would have left already. And they're probably nearing the ground now. Perhaps it, uh, about quarter to, quarter to 2. So I'll be heading off literally as soon as I've recorded this a little bit. But Laverstock and Ford play in the West Premier Division. So you but can play in the Western Premier Division. So it's the same division, you regionalised. So they're both here and here. And they all lead into one eventually. So if they both did well, they could eventually play each other in the league. But uh, very unlikely. Um, Laverstock and Ford were founded in 1956. And they the further they've ever got in this FA Vars. So really exciting for them, as well as obviously Buckland that want to progress as well. Buckland, the furthest they've ever got is to the quarter-final. I think it was back in 2016. I might have got there a couple of times, actually, I believe. But, yeah, it's really going to be a really exciting game. And I think they're all going to be Buckland Athletic 2, Laverstock and Ford 1. The best of luck for both teams. Best of luck for both teams as well. Hartbury, United and Bobby as well in the other game. And I think Britain are playing as well, which are also a semi-local game. So like I said, I want all the local teams to do well because I want to progress in this FA Vars and hopefully make it to all the rounds. Although we'd have a problem for the next round as I'm at the Manchester Derby. And it's on the same day as FA Vars round four. So I'm hoping that there's either a game on the Friday night like there was yesterday. I think Bridgewater played last night or a game on the Sunday so I can make it. Um, either one, it just means I might have to travel to a random game. But I'm hoping they're not all on Saturday. Or some are postponed, perhaps. But yeah, I hope everyone has a good day, and I'll see you very soon at home as Eve. Still going. So the game just restarted, as you can see behind me. Half time, but from three, Laverstock and four nil. Really amazing. Um, as thank you to 
with Judd, uh, Martin and Nigel for making me feel really welcome. I've got a nice VIP bit of food and a coffee which really warmed me up in the cold day. So really excited for this next half and looking forward to hopefully seeing Buckland in the next round. There's the game. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, oh. So full time here, Buckland 3, Loverstock and Ford nil. Last time I saw, unfortunately, Bovey were losing 7 nil to Hartbury University. So it looked like Bovey are out of the FA VAR, but it did very, very well. And I'm really sorry I couldn't make it there today, but I am here at another game. So at least I didn't make an FA VAR game, although it doesn't look like for the next round I will most likely miss a game. I'm just really hoping there's either a postponed fixture or there's a game on the Friday or the Sunday night. But really enjoyed myself here at Buckland. Again, like I said, 3-0, not a lot happening in that second half. But really good end-to-end -end football, really enjoyable, really feisty. And thank you again to Nigel, Martin and Judd for being really welcoming. And again, had a fantastic time again here at home is here. I look forward to coming back again soon. Hope you all have a fantastic evening. It's very, very cold. And I'm going out to see Hybrid Mind in Torquay. So yeah, have a good wreck your weekend. And I'll see you very soon. <laughs>